Hi and welcome back to the channel. It's the Poodle Mom again with the two toy poodles. For this video, we're going to be talking about male versus female dogs. Um, when you're searching for a puppy, I realized that you know this may be one of the things that you would want to know as a first-time dog owner, um, whether or not you should get a female poodle or a male poodle. You could say that I made the choice of um, getting female dogs on purpose. And if you want to know why, I'm also going to be telling you that at the end of the video, why I chose female over male. Alright, for the first one, let's talk about intelligence because this is a question everyone asks all the time. Are male dogs smarter than female dogs or vice versa? Quite frankly, I think it's the same. Um, what would matter more would be the personality of the dog. Next would be potty training. Um, I think this is one of the most important things that people look out for because you know we're gonna be bringing a dog to our house and we don't want our house to stink up. Um, for potty training, like I said, they're equally intelligent so that means they're equally easy to train. Um, but from my own experience, I would say that the females are a lot easier to housebreak or potty train over the male poodles or male dogs in general. I had a long-coated chihuahua in the past and he was potty trained but he still marks the house from time to time especially um, when there are other dogs around or uh, most especially other females. Alright, number three. Let's talk about the character or the temper because I think that's also what people look up for. So for the males, um, it wouldn't be fair for me to just give my selfish opinion. So what I did, I asked some of my friends who own um, poodles. So they said for the males, males are generally sweet and affectionate and they easily get attached to their humans. And um, they're a lot more understanding, they're patient, more patient at least, and they hardly hold grudges. On the other hand, from my experience, the females, they're also, they're also very sweet and affectionate in their own way. I mean, I think in, in that, if, if you're just talking about that, then they're equally the same. But the females are a lot more independent, in my opinion, than the male dogs. In that sense, you combine um, independence with intelligence, so you'd have a dog that knows how to get away with things. And I've been emphasizing that a lot with Doña Tamad over here, right? She would do what she wants. And um, they do, I wouldn't say they hold grudges, but you would know that, you know, if you, if you piss them off, it's not like they're gonna bite you or anything like that. Definitely not, especially if it's a well-trained dog. They would just walk away and like, for example, if Summer is mad at me, no matter what treat I give her, okay, she's, she's crazy about food, huh? no matter what food I offer her, she will not come to me. So yeah, they, they, they know how to express their frustration and um, they're a lot less forgiving. They will forgive you, of course, but they will take some time. <laughs> but uh, according to my other friends, they said, um, their male poodles never do that. She's too smart for you. She won't do it. She knows you're gonna give it to her. They're also quite patient. Like, they tolerate kids and stuff, but that comes with training, so I think you can fix that. But honestly, it's no biggie. And personally, I don't mind having uh, having some space. 
because I don't want them like 24 7 on me all the time but that's just my opinion all right for the last one um, there are literal physical differences so of course it's a given that you know the male and female have different reproductive organs I don't need to discuss that but um, in terms of reaching sexual maturity as puppies then it would be from around six to eight months and it depends it could be longer but for my dogs Bailey um, had her first heat at eight months if I'm not mistaken and then Summer had it around six or seven months one main difference also is uh, relative to the male the females come in heat cycles so what is the heat cycle it's basically when the female ovulates and is ready to have puppies um, it's during that period when the males go crazy so all the characteristics that I described earlier could change because of the hormone surge when they smell a female in heat so they go cuckoo it's true and of course that's when the Famous humping happens on toys, on objects, on chairs, and even on people, including you. So I had that experience with my first dog. For the females, when they're in the heat cycle, that period lasts for a month. Yes, a month. I used to think, when I first got them, I didn't know that they, it lasts for a month. So it was a nightmare when I found out. I thought it would last maybe a week, but nope. Also, it happens twice a year, sometimes thrice, it depends on the dog. But for the two girls, I've we've, they've always had it um, twice a year. So yes, it, it, it is a lot of hassle because you will see the bloody discharge during the heat cycle for a month. Alright, so those problems can easily be a quick fix through fixing your dog, meaning you can uh, neuter them or you can spay them for the females. Uh, personally, I spay the two girls at four years old because I read that that's like um, the best age for them to, you know, have all the hormones that they needed. Um, this is based on some researches that I've read about different holistic veterinarians, the famous ones, and please Google them. I don't want to mention names. So last. If you're gonna ask me whether you should get like one male and then one female, if both dogs will be intact, meaning they can have puppies, and you have no intention of having puppies, then I would say no. If you want one um, gender and another one, then maybe wait it out, have the first one spayed, and then get your second one. But never at the same time and at the same age because there will always be accidents trust me all right so I promised you that I will tell you why I got females it's really just out of preference um, some people ask me are females better than males or are males better than females honestly it's 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 based on your preference I I just wanted females because I never want the humping again and I do not want um, my dog to be marking the house. I guess I liked the independence of the females that came along with how they are. They're affectionate, but I think there's a balance because, you know, sometimes I want space too. A at least with these two, I, I have a break. If you would ask me um, for my selfish opinion, okay, please don't take that against me. I prefer females. But again, please, please be responsible. If you're gonna get a female, don't just think, oh, I have a female dog and then I can breed them and I have puppies and stuff. It's a lot, it's a lot of um, responsibility. Just, just make sure you know what you're getting yourself into. All right, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Um, we hope you enjoyed that or you learned something from that. If you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do consider subscribing if you want to see more videos like this in the near future. Alright, that's it. Bye!